Well, hello everyone. This is Briz, and I'm out in the shop again this week. Uh, I've been working on building some Adirondack chairs. Last year, before Christmas, of actually it had been December of 2012, I built an Adirondack chair, and I just stumbled upon some plans on the internet, and. Uh, I had to, you know, put out the the little one-inch squares on a piece of cardboard and make my template. So I made cardboard templates, transferring the outline of the cardboard templates onto my Adirondack chair pieces, and then individually sanding each one of those down to the line. Well, just to bring you up to speed, my wife wanted three more of those chairs. So, underneath this table, believe it or not, i got a makeshift assembly table here. I had the cardboard templates, and I just traced them onto the quarter-inch plywood. And uh, I have been reclaiming old pallet wood, and I'm just about down to the spot where I need to go get some more because the widths aren't what I want. And I'll show you in just a minute how I'm getting around some of it. On this table are the completed pieces for the uh, three different chairs. And there's on the far left here are all my uh, templates that I'll be able to use in the future. And uh, my theory is some of these components have uh, uh, holes drilled into them with carriage bolts holding them together. So I'm going to put one chair together clamp it and drill the holes where I need to do it and then disassemble it and put my corresponding template on that piece and drill through my template so that way I will have all the holes that I need in the template so at the time I'm doing the flush uh, router bit trimming on each piece I can go ahead and drill the holes so it'll actually my future chairs will be almost like a kit that you can assemble this board here is not wide enough for this uh, armrest, but it is such a nice board. It doesn't have one knot in it that I chose to go ahead and splice an end to it so that as this temple is put up to it, I just only have about a half inch of that other board to make up this uh, component. So. I chose to go ahead and glue a piece on and I'll be it's the glue still wet now and I'll be putting a clamp on there and letting it set for at least through tonight before I take it out and cut it and uh, I'm pretty sure I can get a, a good majority of seat slats out of this but I may be going to out to where I uh, collect these uh, pallets and pick up some more because I have four more of these armrests to make and I can glue a bunch of them together to do that but uh, a lot of the wood that I have left is pretty knotty so I'm going to uh, see if I can uh, get some with wider boards on them okay I'm going to see if I can get a decent shot of the flush trim routing in progress with uh, the dust collection working. <laughs> 